and sisters today's mass intentions for 2nd of october for the lord's mercy protection and blessings on the whole world offered by shiny antony for all the souls in purgatory by sabu uh, suprian and family for the soul of janet offered by rajesh and ivan for all the abandoned souls offered by Swiras family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of Guardian Angels. The Lord has appointed guardian angels for each one of us to protect and guide during this journey on earth. Being first Saturday of the month, we remember our Blessed Mother, who is also the Queen of Angels. In the first reading, taken from Prophet Baruch, the Prophet is telling the people of Israel to turn to the Lord because the hearts of the Israelites had been disposed to stray away from God. When the people of Israel turn to the Lord, the Lord will bring back enduring joy. Dear brothers and sisters, at Fatima, the Blessed Mother revealed to the visionary Lucia to do acts of penance and reparation and prayers to console Jesus for the sins of the world. As we begin to offer this holy sacrifice, we ask forgiveness for our many failures and sinfulness so that each one of us may be found worthy to receive the body and blood of the Lord.
And so let us say with humble and contrite heart, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to my brothers and sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I have done and in and what, what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me, to Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to send your holy angels to guard us. Hear our supplication as we cry to you that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Baruch. Taking courage, my people, O memorial of Israel, it was not for destruction that you were sold to the nations, but you were handed over to your enemies because you angered God. For you provoked him who made you by sacrificing to demons and not to God. You forgot the the everlasting God who brought you up and you grieved Jerusalem who, who reared you for she saw the wrath that came upon you from God and she said listen you neighbors of Zion God has brought great sorrows upon me for I have seen the cap captivity of my sons and daughters which the everlasting brought upon them with joy I nurtured them but I send them away with weeping and sorrow let no one rejoice over me a widow and bereaved of, of many I was left desolate because of the sins of my children because they turned away from the law of God take courage my children and cry to God for you will be remembered by him who brought, you up, who brought this upon you. For just as you purposed to go astray from God, return with tenfold zeal to seek him. For he who brought these calamities upon you will bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. The Lord listens to the needy. The Lord listens to the needy. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his own in their chains. 
Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the seas and everything that moves in them. The Lord, the Lord listens, listens to the, the needy. needy. For God will bring salvation to Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah, and they shall dwell there in possession. The children of his servants shall inherit it. Those who love his name shall dwell there. The Lord, the Lord listens, listens to the needy. needy. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little children the mysteries of the kingdom. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord at that time the disciples came to jesus saying who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and calling to him a child he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, if you have seen paintings of angels, you might notice that they are almost always depicted as children. So then there must be something common to angels and children. Without hesitation, we can say it is their innocence, humility, and simplicity. In the context of today's Feast of Guardian Angels, Jesus' exhortation to his disciples is very apt. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So dear brothers and sisters, the best qualities needed to enter the kingdom of God are innocence, humility, and simplicity. Innocence, humility, and simplicity like that of children. Now, these are the exact qualities that our Blessed Mother possessed. Today we 
remember our blessed mother being the first saturday mary who belonged to the small group called anabim the poor of yahweh was an innocent humble and simple girl of nazareth so that she could say to angel gabriel i am the handmaid of the lord let what you have said be done to me dear brothers and sisters as we celebrate the feast of the guardian angels let us try to imbibe the qualities of innocence humility and simplicity let us also imitate these qualities which are found in abundant measure in our blessed mother we should remember that mary is also the queen of angels dear brothers and sisters it takes much intellectual humility on our part to admit and accept the existence of angels and guardian guardian angels in an age in which we are constantly bombarded with sensual images day in and day out it is difficult for many people to accept and admit the existence of beings which cannot be sense experienced and yet as christians we need to accept them since it is a part of the deposit of our faith angels existence is confirmed by sacred scripture and the theology apart from the confirmation by sacred scripture and theology each one of us may have had our own personal experiences of being guided and guarded by our guardian angels in some very crucial moments of our lives many of us might look back and count the number of times we may have been saved from unpleasant experiences tragic and fatal accidents near death experiences and thus brought home safe and sound at those moments we can be sure that we may have thanked our guardian angels very spontaneously today as we celebrate the feast of the guardian angels we thank god for providing us with such wonderful guardians and we ask the lord to strengthen our faith in the existence of the guardian angels Amen. Oh, 
Jesus, let me live in Thee, so that I no longer live, but that Thou mayst live through me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of mine and yours may be pleasing to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the source of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope peter our bishop and all the clergy remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen brothers and sisters let's pray for the coming of god's kingdom among us in the words jesus our brother taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and sicknesses as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and, and forever. forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with your spirit. spirit let us offer one another the sign of peace
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, but only, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life, with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are happy to tell you that we are back with the Ave Maria program after a little gap. And today, our focus will be on Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Please stay back after this Mass for a short video on this theme. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, glorify the Lord with your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Ave Maria. Namo Maria. Maria Varga. Every first Saturday of the month in Kannada, Tamil and English. Log on to Archdiocesan YouTube channel. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Dear brothers and sisters, devotees of our Blessed Mother, we are happy to be back with this program of uh, Marian devotion. Greetings from the team of Ave Maria, the Marian devotion of Archdiocese of Bangalore.
Dear brothers and sisters, October being the month of rosary, it is fitting that on this fast Saturday we reflect together on the theme Our Lady, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. On 7th October we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. The Holy Rosary is very pleasing to Our Lady. She herself recommends it. For instance, in the apparitions of Our Lady at Fatima, Mary asked the children Francis, Jacinda and Lucia to pray the Rosary daily for the conversion of sinners and for devotion to her Immaculate Heart. There are two elements of the Holy Rosary meditation on his mysteries and vocal prayer. The most important and beautiful thing about the Rosary is its ultimate focus on Christ. By reflecting on Christ's incarnation and early ministry, as well as his suffering, death and resurrection, we are drawn deeper into the love of God, who came to save us in such a marvelous way. Through our meditation upon these mysteries with the Mother of God, we come to see her as the perfect model for Christian living. In her yes, Mary was receptive to the will of God in her life. During Christ's public ministry, she directed his disciples to listen to him. By standing at the foot of the cross, Mary united all of her sufferings with those of Jesus. In accompanying the apostles after the resurrection, she is the loving mother for all Christians. In the praying of the rosary, Mary accompanies us, helping us to deepen our relationship with Jesus Christ. The rosary, as we know, is a chain of 203 roses offered to our Blessed Mother in the form of Hail Marys. According to the Dominican tradition, in 1206, Saint Dominic was in Pruil, France, attempting to convert the Albigensian heretics back to the Catholic faith. The young priest had little success until one day he received a vision of the Blessed Virgin who gave him the rosary as a tool against heretics. Since then, the followers of Saint Dominic the Dominicans have played a great role in spreading and popularizing the Rosary devotion. Earlier, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary was known as the Feast of Our Lady of Victory. The title Our Lady of Victories dates back to a historic battle between Christian and Muslim forces at Lepando in 1521. The Muslims had invaded much of Spain and were threatening to overrun most of Europe and de-Christianize Europe. The threat was real and it all came together at a sea battle at Lepando. Realizing the importance of this moment, the Pope Pius V, a Dominican, called upon all Christians to pray the Rosary for the success of this battle. The Christian forces prevailed, Europe was saved for the Christian faith and the Muslims were pushed back to Africa. In honor of the decisive victory, the Pope declared Mary the Lady of Victory and declared her feast day to be held on October 7th 
the feast of Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. The title Queen for our Blessed Mother has its origin in the papal encyclical Ad Celi Regina, issued by Pope Pius XII in 1954. This encyclical states that Mary is called Queen of Heaven because her son Jesus Christ is the King of Israel and the heavenly King of the universe. Indeed, the Davidic tradition of Israel recognized the mother of the king as the Queen Mother of Israel. Pope Pius XII explained the theological reasons for her title of Queen in a radio message to Fatima on May 13, 1946. He, the Son of God, reflects on his Heavenly Mother, the glory, the majesty and the dominion of his kingship. Jesus is King throughout all eternity by nature and by right of conquest. Through him, with him and subordinate to him, Mary is Queen by grace, by divine relationship, by right of conquest and by singular choice of the Father. The title Queen of Heaven has long been a Catholic tradition included in prayers and devotional literature and seen in Western art in the subject of the coronation of the Virgin from the high Middle Ages, long before it was given a formal definition status by the Church. Dear brothers and sisters, in the litany of Our Lady recited at the end of the Holy Rosary, we attribute nearly 55 epithets to our Blessed Mother and towards the end of the litany we say, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. It is Pope Leo XIII who added the invocation, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, to the litany. Dear brothers and sisters in a kingdom, the king is the most important person. And then, of course, the Queen. Our King is none other than our Lord Jesus Himself, and the Queen is His Mother Mary. The Rosary is about both the King and the Queen. It is recited in Queen Mary's honor, at the same time meditating and reflecting on the mysteries of her beloved Son, who is the King of the universe. On the fifth glorious mystery, we meditate on the coronation of our Blessed Mother as Queen of Heaven. Prior to that, she was assumed into Heaven, body and soul. Jesus whom she gave birth and who now is the King of Heaven, didn't want his mother's body to corrupt on earth, and so she was taken up to Heaven, body and soul. Once she entered heaven, she was crowned as the Queen of Heaven. Mary's Queenship celebrates her participation in the glorious and universal Kingdom of God through her special role in Christ's redemption. Our Blessed Mother rightly deserved such an honor from her beloved Son because of her role also in the Incarnation. Brothers and sisters, before we conclude, let us look at some practical aspects of the Holy Rosary. The Rosary is a scripture-based prayer. It begins with the Apostles' Creed, which summarizes the great mysteries of the Holy Catholic faith. The Our Father, which introduces each mystery, is from the Gospels. The first part of the Hail Mary is the angel's words announcing Christ's birth 
and Elizabeth greeting to Mary. Pope Saint Pius V officially added the second part of the Hail Mary. The mysteries of the Rosary center on the events of Christ's life. There are four sets of mysteries, as you know, joyful, sorrowful, glorious, and added by Saint John Paul II in 2002, the luminous. The repetition in the Rosary is meant to lead one into restful and contemplative prayer related to each mystery. The gentle repetition of the words helps us to enter into the silence of our hearts where Christ's Spirit dwells. Pope Francis in his address to the faithful uh, has exhorted the faithful uh, to rediscover the beauty of the Holy Rosary, especially during these uh, pandemic times. Dear brothers and sisters, during this month of October, a month dedicated especially to the recital of the Rosary, let us pray the Holy Rosary with ardent attention and filial devotion. May the Blessed Mother, the Queen of Heaven, the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, intercede with her Son, Jesus, for each one of us. Ave Maria, Ave Maria, Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Namo Maria. Maria Valga. Every first Saturday of the month in Kannada, Tamil and English. Log on to Archdiocesan YouTube channel.